I'm going to highlight it and then you will have two minutes to tell us um, what is the networking problem or a, a different problem if you have a different one for us. Yeah, so I think uh, as the person who's mainly in charge of our business development, uh, I think uh, networking is just a part of my job. And um, as a person that, you know, been in education for a really long time, it's not that easy when you go approach businesses uh, and then especially the businesses in like Europe that was uh, that like differently in terms of culture, in terms of working style. And I think like the first few networking events, um, I, I feel a little bit struggled uh, in terms of, you know, making it a meaningful conversation. Um, getting to know more about, you know, even like um, the working style, like the culturally how to make a, a appropriate uh, jokes or, you know, like make the uh, relationship like uh, approachable, friendly. Um, so I think it's just a matter of time and how I feel uh, open to go out of my comfort zone. And I think it's getting better and better. Um, and then, you know, like joining like, uh, uh, sessions like this actually boost my motivation and confidence a lot. Um, uh, and one of the like stepping stones, um, uh, in the goal that I set for, you know, making meaningful networking, um, and meaning, meaningful community and social lives. Yeah. That's great. Um, so that was even under two minutes. So the group now has three minutes to ask you clarifying questions. So we are not asking coaching questions. We're just clarifying. And um, probably for the sake of time, Mandy can put her responses in the chat. So what clarifying questions does the group have? We're eventually going to coach her. But um, first, we want to clarify anything that you're confused about or you want more information about. Like off the top of my head, I would say, Mandy, if you could put in the chat, um, if you had a magic wand, what's the first thing you would change? So if I were to send you my magic wand, what's the first thing you'd change? Go ahead, Anna. What's your yes, clarifying uh, What was the issue? Was it uh, networking events in Europe, like cultural um, differences? Yeah. Okay. So is, is, uh, so is Mandy, both... can you just put oh, in the sorry. chat? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Yep. yep. Other questions, just because we're short on time here, and then we can read your response. Go ahead, Chessie. Mine is piggybacking off of Anna. I wanted to know <clears throat> if it is primarily the networking in different cultures, or if it's general networking is the issue. Mm -hmm. Great. Keep those questions coming. Clarifying the issue. What would you want to know from her before she disappears? I have another one. Yep. Um, what will um, what good will this do you? Like the benefit? Oh, yeah, great. I have another one. Go for it. What would you do if you had no fear? Yeah, if you had no fear at all, Mandy, what would you do? So it sounds like if nothing was holding you back, what would you do? We still have one more minute of clarifying questions. Go ahead, Chessie. How would you feel once you've achieved what you're trying to achieve? Go ahead, Cecilia. In the past networking that you've done, what would you do differently the next time? Mm. Yeah, lots of head nodding with that one. Yeah, we're still learning. So I kind of wonder, Mandy, if there's anything you want to say out loud from these questions you've heard. Um, 
Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, to answer the first question is both. Uh, it's sometimes the events are organized in person here and it's usually organized by the champions in Vietnam. So either like British or European, yeah, German, Germany, something like that, because I'm, I'm working for uh, Europe markets. And then it's, it's virtual, is the events organized by European champions, uh, countries. Um, in terms of fear, I think some of the fears that I can mention, first of all, it would be a language barrier. Um, so I've been using English at work professionally for 10 years, but I'm not a native speaker, right? Uh, and then so just, I also sometimes facing problems in terms of like understanding uh, the inside jokes or really the, what they really mean. Um, and then of course the like, fear of like, being rejected mm -hmm. um, and when losing contracts or opportunities and what I feel when I'm able to achieve things, definitely um, I reward myself. I feel more confident uh, time to time when I get like uh, contracts signed or even like really good feedback from the businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I think I missed the last question. That's okay. We're going to stop you there. Um, so this is kind of a strange thing that we do, but we're going to ask you to drop out your video and your audio. And then um, when we come back in eight minutes, um, anything that was useful about what we talked about while you were gone. So we will know that you're listening, but we won't, we won't be looking at your face because you'll have dropped your video and your sound. So we're not going to expect you to, to answer until, we, until eight minutes elapse. All right. So can you drop your video? And all right. Okay, team. We have eight minutes to 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 think about uh, Mandy and coaching questions. We're less interested in advice. If you have advice, put it in the chat. But what are the what are our, what's our feedback on what she said? Like for example, my feedback is, "Wow, you're doing amazingly well. Like you're stunning. Like like really give yourself credit for how far you've come." Um, and then so inquiry is questions like that you think will move her forward. And um, let's see, what's the R stand for? Reflections? No. Info feedback, inquiry, reflections, maybe, and emotional support. So what thoughts? Go ahead, Zainab. I can resonate myself to what Mandy said about the culture and the language barrier. I'm a Chinese living in Scotland and I work for a public sector organization. So all of my st stakeholders, I would say my business in, is not related to China. So at the beginning, I felt less confidence when engaging with internal and external uh, stakeholders. And uh, my job requires lots of uh, public speaking events. And I have to represent my organization or my team to to deliver speech and um, I had fear and uh, or let's say it's a self-confidence issue and uh, don't want to impact my professionalism or the reputation of my organization but later on I received a very good feedback that uh, when people meet you the the message you deliver is more important than your grammar mistake in one word or two because you are not a native English speaker and they don't expect you to speak as a BBC journalist. So, um, but there are many other things in our work is more important than the barrier itself. So if you think in the barriers, the barriers will go big, grow big and bigger. If you don't think about it, focus on the main KPI the main jobs you need to deliver, that is the most important thing. That's my learning as well. Thank That's you. great. And any questions you'd have for her? Any like help her think about how she can solve anything that would that you would sort of coach her about her situation? Because you, I mean, you made some great points. Like, like what will it take for you to look at your strengths versus your barriers or something? I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing what you might ask. I'd like to ask Mandy what motivate you to start this career and uh, what may motivate you keep going 
Yeah. What is the ultimate objective? Was by doing of by doing this job. That's great. Thank you. Others, especially those who haven't spoken, particularly want to hear your voice. Risk saying the wrong thing. Um, I can jump in. I think it's amazing to know that networking can be a weakness. Um, I feel like that's been one of the things that I've struggled with in the past is that for my career, I generally do client consulting. So I'm very outgoing and I have to be really good at presentations. But when I'm doing networking for myself, I always feel kind of awkward and I I don't know exactly what to say often, or I mostly try to eat a lot of food <laughs> if it's in person. Uh, so I think for me, one of the ways I've gotten around networking is I, I prefer smaller groups. Um, I prefer if I can do one-on-one -on -one or like a smaller group, or at least know someone at the networking event, or I'll bring a friend um, just so I have someone. And then I it takes me a little bit to get warmed up. But then afterwards, I feel like, oh, you know, I can go and meet someone new or I've been like interested in what people are saying and being an active listener and then reaching out to them afterwards or like during the event to say like, oh, I really like that you did this or and that's been really helpful for me um, because any, I generally don't like to be. in Yeah. And, and any kind of coaching questions you'd have for Mandy, anything you you would say to help her solve her own situation? I guess um, I don't I don't know if it's necessarily a coaching, but mm -hmm. it's more like are there I like what what are your particular fears? Are is your fear around like being alone or being afraid about being alone? Because that's that's a fear that I have when I go and network with people is that I'm like oh I'm gonna be alone I won't know what to say or I don't know how to talk to people through this. Um, and I, I deal with that with like making like connections either before or after the event or bringing someone with me. That's great. Um, so if you have thoughts and you don't want to say them out loud, feel free to put them in the chat because Mandy has access to that. So like you could just go over the chat and say whatever you want to say. Um, but is there anyone who go ahead, Heidi? Yeah, you need to unmute though. Uh, I think sometimes you feel like if you go to an event, you have to like network with a lot of people. And I've always found that if you can just find one or two where you actually make a connection, that that's actually much more um, useful and productive. And, you know, um, even if you just meet one person and you have a connection that can continue beyond that event, um, that that is success. And it adds up over time. It just takes a while. Great. Stacy. Uh, there's Anna wrote a question in the chat mm -hmm. and I thought it was really interesting. So she says Europe is a very diverse continent and having an accent or lack of fluency in the spoken language is very common. So my question is, my, so my question, is your fear true? Any thoughts you have about that, Stacy? Any reflections or feedback? Um, yeah, because that's true. It, sometimes I think we, we, we lean on the um not lean in but lean on um these crutches that maybe are we make the bigger issue but the real issue is under something underlying uh, so i just thought that was a really great question um and one that's important to i think once you can identify what's really going on then you can kind of tackle that problem and move forward in your in your whatever that issue is thank you thank you that's a great example of amplifying someone else's voice so yay any other kind of questions you'd have to coach Mandy on helping her think through her situation? Go ahead, Cecilia. When you are in that situation, your environment, other than the fact that there are people speaking different languages, uh, can you describe the environment uh, where you're actually feeling confident? What what is going on what's going through your head what is externally going on and internally going on 
And if you write that out, maybe you'll see, but I was wondering if you could share with us. Yeah, so when you're feeling confident, what does things look like? And then we are at time, but yeah. say it again. What's triggering that confidence? Yeah. Um, and Stacy, is what your comment, is it something you can put in the chat so we can bring Mandy back? Great. So Mandy, if you are ready to come back, we have uh, designated one minute for you to tell us what was useful about what we talked about while you were gone. Great. Yes, I love these questions. So whenever you're ready, Mandy, we are ready to start your one minute. What, what was useful about what we talked about while you were gone? And you don't have to be polite, uh, but you're still muted. Um, so I think every, everything is useful. Uh, I think uh, the key thing that I can learn from is like uh, question myself, uh, what makes me, me start at the very beginning when I switched from, okay, let's say education to business development. Uh, so, and then actually that's the, the fear that actually pushed me to that the transition. So I, I fear business development and then I want to try it out. So I think that's the reason. Uh, and then write down what I feel rewarded or motivated whenever I achieve something, even if it's small. Um, and um, I think that's very helpful as well to, to be able to identify the real issue. Uh, maybe this is something that I over complicate the situation myself. Maybe it's not a real issue. Maybe it's something else. Uh, and then the fact that I'm able to name that um, would help a lot. So write down my thoughts and uh, work on what I'm struggling. Uh, so I think that's very helpful. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much.